Hello, this is Travis from YI Technology. We are here with a tutorial on how to get Preo VR working in Unity. Uh, right now we have Bob in this suit already, which is a core suit. We got it set right here. And we're going to show you how that works, and then we'll go step by step through the project. Alright, we'll press play. We're getting everything set up. He will stand in the T pose, and we will hit the calibration button. And now he's able to move. All right, now we can go step by step through that and show you how all that works. Okay, now that we've shown off the pre suit and the demo, we're going to go ahead and create a new project and start it from scratch step by step. So new project, create. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the asset store. And then there we're just going to go ahead and get one of the uh, Mechanum animation starter kits. Wait for that to load up. All right, so we're gonna go to complete projects. I'm gonna go ahead and Unity Tech Demos. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the Mechanum Locomotion Starter Kit. I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Import. And we're just gonna go ahead and import the whole project. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and loan up this test scene. Uh, don't I need to save that default scene. Right here, the default avatar has some stuff already on it. We don't really need all of that, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the default avatar. Then I'm going to go into the locomotion and the animations, and I'm just going to drag up one without all the scripts on it. Go ahead and put them at the top. And then from there, nothing will happen in the game. Like, there's, he's just going to stand still with T-Pose, so we need to put him on the camera script. That way, the camera will track him. And there's one more thing we need to do before we uh, put Preo VR working. We need to check the rig. We need to make sure that's humanoid. Because Preo VR, by default, this will hook straight to a humanoid rig. Make it a lot easier for developers. We will support generic rigs and everything, but that'll be another tutorial. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and import the Preo package. So, import package, custom package, and downloads. We have it right here. So go ahead and open that up. It's going to give us our plugin and uh, prefab that we're not going to be using today, but also our API. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the preo, and we're going to go to scripts. We're going to go ahead and take the preo rig, and this is what will automatically sync all the animator bones up with the skeleton API. So we're going to do that. We're going to make sure it's on core because that's what uh, Nick will be using right here. Set the age, and we're going to set the player height about 1.8. These are in meters. It's not calibrated. We're going to turn smoothing and everything off for today. And then after that, all we have to do is write a script to tell it how to calibrate. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and create. We're going to go to new C-sharp script. And we'll just call it Preo Calibrate. And that should be good. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up that script. Mono available load. And there's only a little bit we actually have to write in, write in here. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to actually get Preo VR working. Okay, we're going to go ahead and create our Preo rig variable so we can get that component off the, the character. So we're just going to call it my Preo rig. And then in the start, we're just going to go ahead and get that component. So my Preo rig equals get component. And then Preo rig. And there's that. Uh, now in the update, we just need to call the calibrate function, which is a core routine. So on, let's pick T as our input. So we're going to do if input dot get key down. I'm going to say T. Close that off. And then all we need to do is start our core routine. And we're going to call my pre rig dot calibrate sensors. We're going to give it a wait time of two seconds. That way, it will actually get some orientation data for us over those two seconds. And that's all we actually need to do to start setting up the pre -o. What we have to do now is make sure this is saved. So, we're going to go ahead and save. That is saved. Go ahead and close out of there. All right, now all we have to do is hook our script to our character. So, the calibration script we just wrote, we're going to add on there. And that allows us to press T to calibrate. So we're going to hit play. 
I'm getting the T-pose. Hit T for T-pose. And now he's able to move.